Hey there X-Men fans and Easterlingers, hope you're having a good day. Today I'm painting Psylocke from X-Men Marvel United, who's been given a Zenithal highlight of black primer and then a top spray of a white primer. And we're starting off, we're actually going to be going back to the good old contrast paints. I haven't used these in forever and I figure, you know what, it's been a while. Let's show some stuff again. It's been so long on the channel I haven't used this. So we're starting off with some Dark Oath Flesh on her skin. And I know in the picture again, or at the beginning it shows grainy and all that, but in, when you look at it here in person, she looks amazing. I think my camera is just picking up all those pixels from the colors. I mean, it is an older phone. I'm trying to get a new one, but you know, budget comes into here. A lot of things come into budget when you're recording videos and all that. So don't take a look at the picture. Just look at the paints and you'll see the outcome will become just amazing to look at. And of course, you guys spoke, so I listened. I asked you if you wanted to see Marvel Zombies or Marvel United X-Men. You said Marvel United, so here we go. Next color is Doomfire Magenta for that blast that's coming out of her hand. A beautiful pink color. If you want it to really highlight, you can take a dry brush of a very light pink or mix it with some white a bit and then go on top of it after and you'll have a beautiful uh, coloration to that. I just didn't do it because again, I'm trying to just get these miniatures ready for the table, not parade ready. Again, I am not a master artist. And I'm not Zumiko, I'm not Ninjon, but hey, there's many people out there like me who want to get their miniatures painted, not looking gray or blue like these ones would be, and just have something better look at on a table. And for her beautiful hair, we're using Shyish Purple. Uh, this does an amazing job with the Zenithal highlight, by the way. Contrast paints work pretty well. I didn't use like their typical paints like Scar White or... Uh, uh, what is it, uh, Wraithbone or whatever else colors they have. I went with the Army Painters black and white can sprays. Yeah, I didn't use my airbrush on these. I decided whenever I do a lot of miniatures at the same time, I usually use a can and then just go quickly and get it all done. Next color is the Blood Angels Red here. As you saw, I've been doing her strap here. And then I'm moving on to Storm Fiend. This is a beautiful color. Now, I was... Not sure how it was going to turn out because I looked at it on my little cap there and it was supposed to be a little bit darker. But I think this, it ends up like the color on the picture is not the same at all as you can see. The color comes out is what I wanted. It's a little lighter or brighter than the artwork itself. Like it should have been a darker blue, which is fine. I mean, you don't always have to make it perfect, right? Uh, but whenever you paint it, you make it look better than what it was before. And again, I want to thank you guys um, for supporting the channel in all the ways you can, uh, hitting that like button, commenting down below what you're working on. If you've painted these miniatures, the X-Men United or any Marvel United, uh, you can join my Discord as well. That link is in the description. And you can come there and share what you're working on, see what I'm working on, because I'll put some pictures sometimes of stuff that I'm working on and ask for advice on there as well, instead of just on the YouTube community. So take a look and join us in there and come show your work because maybe you don't want to pass it all over social media and uh, get criticized. We won't criticize. We're going to love your work no matter what and we're there to help you. Sigvald Burgundy now just for the hilt of that sword. Uh, beautiful sword by the way. Just a nice little... And again, there's little details on the sword. And again, you know, Marvel United with their bases uh, are just... They just brought it, right? I've said it before and I'll say it again. They're amazing. The fact that they made bases like this. So we have no worries about texturing or figuring out what we're going to put these miniatures on. And I'm using Seraph Seraphim Sepia now just to do the whole base before I do another part. And we're moving on now to Speed Paint Metallics. Polished silver for her blade of her sword. Now, I could have used any of the silvers or the golds and stuff like that from Citadel. But I love the Speed Paint Metallics. They cover well. And like Enchanted Steel here, does a great shading. And having the Seraphim Sepia underneath kind of just gives it a little hint of like rust or aged metal or kind of wrecked. It doesn't come through too much. So technically, I'm looking forward to trying these speed paint metallics on top of other colors as a metallic paint uh, to see if they're going to cover on top of them very well. Like, I don't know if it'll cover over black or not. We'd have to find out. Some Talus Bronze now for all these, like, pipes and wires that are sticking through the ground here and through that back uh, uh, big piece of metal or whatever that is she's standing on there. And as you can see, like, you do not see the speckles like you do in my photo. Like, it just turns out really nice uh, in person and on screen. 
It's just again my camera. So there you go. Psylocke is painted and ready for the table. And she is a hero, by the way, uh, for Marvel X Men United. So again, leave a comment down below what you're working on. Hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, which most of you are, hit that subscribe button. It's free and, you know, it helps support the channel. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.